So the government is talking about making Latin compulsory in schools. And the argument seems to be, well, here is some instance, some weird instance in which being able to speak Latin was terribly useful to me. I was able to understand the motto of Simon Sester Town Council. I mean, great, but we really should be asking the question, is there anything else we could learn instead that would be more useful? Because the curriculum is already pretty full and students are in the middle of having had their education massively disrupted. Maybe we should be prioritising the most important things. And there's a couple of things I can think of that I feel like it would be really important to teach more of. One is modern languages that you can actually use if you want to travel, if you want to communicate with people and if you want to work with people and these days that includes online. The more languages you can speak the better and Latin unfortunately doesn't really get you very far in that respect. Secondly, sex education finally, finally became compulsory for schools to teach last year but it's still optional, parents can still take their kids out of it so it's compulsory to teach but it's not compulsory for students to attend but still, the amount of sex education being taught in schools is very, very low. And actually, if you think about it, I don't know, but like I know loads more people whose lives have been absolutely ruined by getting things wrong around sex, right? Whether that's uh, catching something, getting pregnant when they didn't want to be, not knowing how to deal with an unwanted pregnancy, getting into a situation where they've done consent badly and they've been abused or they've abused someone, all of these things are completely devastating for people's lives and a much more comprehensive, much more thorough and compulsory for all students sex education programme would work through lots and lots of those issues. There's so much where we could be prioritising what is more important. And I think in a lot of ways, this Latin issue actually highlights a much bigger issue that's been going on for a long time, which is that the Tories totally overhauled the national curriculum and some of the stuff they've put on it is just absolute nonsense. It's obviously there just to pander to their own weird ideology about how everything was great when they were at prep school and why can't children have tuck boxes and why don't we all play lacrosse? So I'm tutoring lots of GCSE math students at the moment. Over the last year, I've done that a lot. There are things that have been added to the GCSE maths curriculum, which I didn't learn when I was at school. And I also didn't learn when I did A-level maths and A-level further maths. And I also didn't need when I did a degree and a master's in maths at Oxford University. But I had to go and learn manipulation of thirds, circle theorems, triangle congruences, so that I could teach GCSE maths. And you know what isn't on the GCSE maths? A really good, solid understanding of how to write a profit and loss account, how to balance books, how to add up a budget, how to look at tax payments, how to calculate VAT. That stuff is gonna really give you life skills that you could actually use in life. I have never ever seen anybody going, quick, it's an emergency. Are these triangles congruent? Is the angle at the centre the same as the angle at the circumference? What could the difference be? Those things are never crisis questions, but oh shit, I think I'm pregnant. I've heard that a lot over the years. So I just think maybe we could throw out the Latin and learn something more useful. And I understand that the government are saying it was so useful for us when we were at school, but they don't know how to manage a pandemic. They don't know how to make sure people don't end up in poverty. They don't know how to stop thousands and thousands of people dying unnecessarily. So I can't help thinking that they did the bloody wrong subjects at school. See you next week.